Uh, just to mention the bracelet uh, on the 3570, a very strong bracelet, um, standard pins uh, with a, a sort of central collar tube. Uh, I'll do a separate review on how to change the links. It is very straightforward and uh, no risk of damaging the watch if done properly. Uh, good solid, almost like a diver's watch bracelet uh, strong and I've never had any problems with that uh, and a reasonable amount of adjustment there uh, on the actual buckle and also with uh, the links themselves and uh, obviously the watch is noted as being uh, NASA flight approved. Um, anyway I'll uh, carry on with a little bit more information about the uh, stopwatch. One thing I did want to mention was the hidden date function on this watch. Uh, today is the 24th of August and you'll see that the uh, stopwatch uh, second hand is showing me that it's the 24th and for tomorrow it can show me it's the 25th and I think a lot of uh, speedy users uh, use the stopwatch mainly for that feature um, but uh, joking aside we'll go into some more details on the okay, watch now. Okay, the stopwatch function you can see on the iPhone 40 seconds which corresponds to the second counter on the watch and then 11 minutes which corresponds to 11 minutes on the 30 minute dial uh, and as we come up to 60 seconds you'll see the minute counter move forward to 12 there we go and also we're at two hours so we can move to the hour counter and you can see we're just over two hours heading towards three uh, hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory I'll just do a stop and uh, fly back uh, just for completeness uh, that's the stopwatch function on the 3570 Speedmaster um. The tachometer function, uh, not much mystery there, actually quite simple. Uh, so we have the stopwatch, so basically you have a pusher to go on the stopwatch. And push it, same pusher to stop and then reset. And uh, I'll show you a bit more detail on that shortly. Uh, the tachometer really very simple um, basically you time between two points so if we just passed a starter and you're measuring your uh, vehicle or whatever the object is and get to around 12 seconds uh, basically stop and you can read from the outer ring uh, the uh, units per hour rating so uh, a simple example there uh, if we said we were at uh, one mile in 12 seconds, so that's five miles per minute, 3,600 seconds in an hour. So uh, 12 seconds, 3,600 divided by 12, that's 300 miles per hour. And uh, I'll see if I can focus in. Maybe not uh, that good there. Let's just see if we can pull back a little bit for you. Uh, you can just see there 300 miles per hour on the black outer bezel. So uh, that's no great mystery on the tachometer and obviously that will work with uh, any unit and I think uh, it can't be understated how important that function is, the ability to uh, measure elapsed time was on uh, the uh, space missions. Okay, engine stop. Houston, uh, and Grandy Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. 